Welcome back to Anton Math and in this video we're going to start our discussion on plane curves and parametric equations. Now if f and g are two functions defined on some interval i then we say that the set of points f of t, g of t, so there's a lot of parentheses in here but here my x is f of t, my y is g of t. I have all these ordered pairs, points in space and this is for all t on the interval so if I take the collection of all of those points I get a curve and we call that a plane curve. And the equations x equals f of t and y equals g of t, where t is on the interval, are called parametric equations for the curve with parameter t. Now what parametric equations are in general are we're taking some curve in space and instead of writing it as a function f of x equals x or in other words uh, or f of x equals some function of x or, or y equals f of x to put it more properly you know, normally we would write something like y equals f of x to describe some curve in space what we're doing here is we're writing two different equations we have a y equals f of t and a y equals g of t now x and y are still going to work in tandem in these ordered pairs here f of t g of t to create this curve in space but now we have this new parameter t whereas t changes both my x and y are changing with some relation to that t now usually we use t because usually t here is going to stand for time a lot of these problems are used in physics or mechanics or engineering uh, all these places where we have a lot of things happening and we can describe it in terms of how much time has passed we can know where a certain point in space is or what the position of these mechanics are so let's take a look at a simple example of a parametric equation let's say we're asked to sketch the curve given by the parametric equations x equals 2t and y equals t plus 6 so we're going to need to sketch this curve so I'll go ahead and draw a little axis here now we haven't learned much about parametric equations yet so to sketch this curve we're going to draw a table and we're going to find what some of these points are x and y as our t changes and some convenient t's to use are you know we want to keep simple t's so I usually use negative 2 negative 1 0 1 and 2 and I want to know what x is here my x is equal to 2t and I want to know what y is which here is equal to t plus 6 for each of these values of t this is going to give us some idea of what this plane curve looks like so if I plug in t equals negative 2 my x is negative 2 times 2 or negative 4 if I plug in t is negative 1 I get negative 2 if I plug in z t is 0 I get 0 and because of this parametric equation for x we see every time t increases by 1 x is increasing by 2 isn't it so I can just fill in the rest of this this is 2 4 now the same thing for y when I plug in negative 2 I get y which is t plus 6 is going to be 4 I'll have negative 2 plus 6 plugging in negative 1 I have 6 plus negative 1 or 5 and really we see as t increases by 1 y is increasing by 1 at the same time isn't it so here I have my t's t increasing by 1 means y is increasing by 1 so my next three are just 6 7 and 8 so let's go ahead and draw these points out we're going to trace these points that we found my x is ranging from negative 4 so I'll say negative 4 we'll call this negative 2 we'll call this 2 and we'll call this 4 so I'm going from negative 4 to 4 while my y is ranging all the way up to 8 so I'm going to go ahead and block this into 2's 2, 4, 6, and 8 so plotting these points I have negative 4, 4 that's about right here negative 2, 5 that's going to be about right here 0, 6 2, 7 that's about right here and 4, 8 about right here now let's see how well I did can I draw a line through all these points uh, not too bad They're a little bit off on some of them but this looks like a line doesn't it so we just drew out a couple of these points and if we don't know what a parametric curve looks like we can always draw out a few points figure out what it's going to be and here we see this is a line uh, the slope here is one half because every time that y goes up by one x is going 
up by 2, isn't it? So that means my slope is 1 half. And my y-intercept here is 6. And we'll come back to this problem in the next video. Uh, but before we do, something I want to note is, one of the convenient things about these parametric equations is that they don't just tell me where x and y are, they also tell me how fast I'm moving and in what direction I'm moving. So for example, if I take t and I replace t with 2t, my parametric equations become x equals 4t and y equals 2t plus 6. Now if we were to graph out these parametric equations, we'd very quickly realize that the uh, plane curve we get from these parametric equations is exactly the same as what we got from our original set of parametric equations. The difference being that as we increase t, y and x are going to increase twice as fast. So in other words, these parametric equations describe a plane curve where the particle or object on that curve is moving twice as fast as the particle or object on our original curve, but it's actually going along the same path. If I were to do the same thing but replace t with negative t, my parametric equations would become x equals negative 2t, oops, negative 2t, and y equals negative t plus 6. And again, we would very quickly realize that graphing out some points, we're going to get the exact same line that we got with our original equations. But now as t increases, x and y are moving in the opposite direction. So here, we see that depending on how we write our parametric equations, we can embed in these equations both a speed in terms of a time t and a direction. So it's not just a curve, but we know which direction we're moving as t increases. All right, now in the next video, we're going to get some additional tools for dealing with these equations. We'll see you there.